Good morning all. It's uh, my usual Wednesday off of uh, work today, um, middle of February. In fact it's uh, 14th of February so it's Valentine's Day today. <laughs> so hopefully that might bring me luck. You never know. So what with all the rain we've been having in the last couple of days, the rivers are flooded again as usual. So I've come up here today to uh, Chillingly Fishery. Uh, I've done a few trips up here. Had a couple of nice pike, but also had a couple of blanks, so I know it's not going to be easy today, especially with the colour of the water. You might be able to see it's a really, really muddy brown. Anyway, we're going to give it a go. Uh, I've got three baits out there today. Uh, you can use three rods here. So I've got some um, sardines on all three rods, and I've just kind of like spaced them around the area, hoping for a pike. So I've got the left rod over there by those reeds in the margin. Float legit sardine. Middle rod there, just lobbed out, just on the edge of the, it starts shelving down, sort of six, six, seven foot there. And the right hand rod, just on the tip of that sunken tree there. Now that looks the best spot, to be honest. If I'm going to get a bite today, I think it'll come off of that right hand rod just by the uh, edge of the trees there. Float legged sardine again. Uh, I've chopped up a few uh, bits and pieces of fish, scattered them around the areas. And uh, here's hoping for the big one. Here's my little camp. Trying to keep myself dry today. Looks like it's going to be raining all day long, hopefully only light rain. And hopefully I'll keep dry. So I'm hopeful today, you know, I mean, there's nobody else pike fishing on here. There's a, a chap over the other side, carp fishing, he's been bivvied up all night. I don't know if he's caught anything. But uh, I haven't seen any activity so far, I've only been here for a couple of hours so far. I uh, got here about um, half past seven started fishing a little before eight o'clock it's about half past nine now but you know there's some good fish in here I know there's some 20 pounders in here because uh, they have been caught but uh, not not by me you know I'm still still hanging it out hoping to get that uh, that PB before the end of the season so we've only got four weeks to go until the uh, river season and pike season closes so we've got four more chances or five if you include today. See if I can uh, bag that big one that I'm so hoping for. But uh, you know I'm in the right place. The river's been a struggle. Uh, Chiches the pits and there's no big fish in there really so this is this is my best chance here really so I've got to give it a go haven't I? What can I tell you? I've finally done it. Oh my god I can't believe it. Check this out. Look at that. My first ever 20 pound pike. This is a uh, 21 and a half pounds this is. And I've just come up here to Shillingly today uh, because the rivers are flooded yet again. It's been pouring with rain all night and all yesterday. The water's a dirty brown. But I just had a bite on a sardine. And I've just caught my first ever 20 pound pike. I'm so, so pleased with this, I can't tell you. It's been a long time coming. I thought it might come out of the river, but, you know, I switched to this, this little lake here and uh, I've finally done it. What a beast. What an absolute beast. Right, let's get it back. Well, I can't believe the day I'm having here I just cast that same bait back out after that 20 pounder that I just caught. The bait was sort of okay, you know, the, the fish was only just hooked in the corner on one hook. So I cast the bait back out and I just had another one. And uh, an, a really pretty one too. Uh, nice markings on this one. The other one was a little bit faded out. Washed out this one's uh, quite nice. Quick look at the other side because it's such a pretty fish. And 
there you go. Another absolutely cracking pike. On my best ever day's pike fishing ever in a whole of my life. <laughs> and it's only uh, it's only sort of like half past ten or eleven eleven o'clock now, so I've still got plenty of time. Anything could happen. But I'm happy with this. Boat's going. Oh god, we're in again. Don't believe it. Third one of the day. Same spot each time. Ooh. What we got this time? Nice bend in the rod there. Doesn't seem to be fighting so hard this one, so what we got? Oh yeah, it's a small one this time. There he goes. <laughs> right, I wonder if I'll be able to unhook this one in the water. trouble with it. Oh, that's it. I was lucky there. Here's the rig anyway. It's just a sliding float, slides, slides up to a stop. And the rule here is uh, single hooks. So that's what I'm doing. That one's just come out there. So that's kind of all I'm doing. Just the single hook sticking out. There you go. Lively little one about six pounds probably. No more. Stick him straight back. There you go, little friendly robin. Some fresh maggots for you. You like them, don't you? So it's been a little bit of a lull in the activity, it's, uh, it's about quarter to three now, but uh, just picked up another one, smallest one of the day here, and it's probably only about six pounds probably, but on the same rod again, that, that rod off the end of that bush, that's produced all the fish today, <coughs> still time for one more though, but uh, happy we've got a bad. Well it's about half past four now, and uh, as you can see the light's, light's starting to fade. I'll probably give it a, another another half an hour, up to five o'clock. The evenings are definitely getting lighter, you know, mid-February now. I'm starting to, uh, to 
get a bit warmer as well. It's been quite mild today. Made a change from all those freezing sessions that I did earlier in the year. But it's been a great, a great day, you know, an absolutely well, brilliant day, you know, my best days bike fishing ever. The two biggest fish I've ever caught, two biggest pike I've ever caught in my life. Both came one cast after another on the on the same bit of a sardine. So I can't knock that. Um, it was a good move coming up here today. Obviously the rivers are all flooded, so I had no choice but to come up to here or maybe Chichester. I nearly, I nearly, as I was on my way up here, I nearly diverted off to Chichester because the roads are so flooded and I wasn't that confident that uh, this lake would be fishable, but it was fishable and I did catch fish. Four fish today, what an absolute result. Thoroughly enjoyed it, perfect day, couldn't fault it in any way and I'm sure I'll be back soon. See you next time. Cheers.